There are some things you should never do after you've meditated. And this is really important because when you meditate, you change your brainwave state, your frequencies to a different state. So you become more relaxed than in one of the more su suggestive, suggestible and open brainwave states. After you've meditated, your brain is like a sponge and you're gonna absorb every thought and idea that comes into your brain and into your consciousness. Here are the top five things you should never do after you've just meditated. Number one, don't consume media content. Don't look at the news, don't go on social media, don't look at scary films or headlines because like I've said, your brain after meditation is like a sponge. You're gonna absorb all of that stuff and take it into your subconscious mind. You might absorb a belief, a negative idea, a scary idea. Maybe even you become fearful or annoyed or, okay, critical, paranoid. You don't wanna consume any media after meditation. To be honest, you shouldn't be consuming media at all. And, and when I say media, I mean like the news and stuff like that. Number two, you don't want to do something really physical straight away. If you've just meditated, you're relaxed and your nervous system is at a low, slow level. You're, you're relaxed and that's the purpose of meditation, to be relaxed, right? Uh, and to be more self-aware. So if you then go and jump into a, you know, a powerlifting workout, or if you then go for a run or jump up and do something crazy, you're shocking your nervous system and not in a good way. You're, you're actually reducing or you know, reversing the positive effect of meditation uh, with that exercise. And this is just gonna reverse the effect and kind of make it a waste of time to have done the meditation in the first place. If you're gonna exercise, which you should, you should wait at least an hour after meditation. Unless the exercise is something kind of soft like yoga, walking, Pilates, uh, that kind of exercise. Those kind of exercises are fine but not things like running, powerlifting, cardio, uh, hit, hit training. Number three, after meditation, do not try and do something stressful. You should avoid stress for as long as possible, unless you absolutely have to do that stressful thing. Like, let's say if you know that checking your emails is gonna stress you out. Don't do it straight after meditation because you've just got your body into a relaxed, you know, peaceful state. If you have to check the emails, and, or, and this applies to anything that might stress you out, do the thing and then meditate after you've become stressed to sort of calm yourself down. Because otherwise, let's think about what would happen. You meditate, you're relaxed and peaceful. Then you do the stressful thing. And then that stress stays with you until you next meditate, which might be tomorrow. <laughs> so you have the entire day with this stress in the background of your mind and it renders the meditation kind of pointless. So really what you should do is if you know something is going to stress you out and this goes for anything, it could be like if you know that you need to confront someone, have a, an argument or a debate, uh, check your emails, do something or deal with somebody stressful, deal with bills, call the bank, whatever it is that's going to stress you out, do that thing and then meditate after doing that thing. Don't just meditate and then do the stressful thing. Number four, and this is kind of before meditation, but you should, before meditation, you should not eat anything, really. You should be, you should drink water, okay? But if you eat just before meditation, your body is gonna be digesting that food, of course, right? And when you digest food, your body is in a tired state. Now, with meditation, the one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna fall asleep because that's gonna render it pointless. You're not trying to fall asleep here. You're trying to build the habit of being self-aware while you're awake. Now, it's very common that if you eat a huge meal and then meditate, you'll fall asleep. <laughs> and this is, really, this is really common, especially in like these uh, meditation retreats and things like that. Uh, or you know, if people are trying to meditate for a long period of time, they will eat before thinking that you know they might get hungry during meditation so if they eat before it sort of solves the problem well no it doesn't because you end up potentially falling asleep your meditation isn't as good because your body is spending half its energy digesting the food so don't eat just before meditation and number five or number four i can't remember is to make sure that you don't fall asleep when you meditate so you've just meditated if you then fall asleep then that's kind of you would then need to start again when you wake up because the goal of meditation is to become self-aware and to disconnect yourself from that mind chatter, right? So let's say if you've just meditated, you're in this nice peaceful state of being serene and awake and aware. And if you then fall asleep, or if you fall asleep during the meditation as well, then when you wake up, your brain is gonna start from scratch again. Uh, your brain, maybe you've just had a dream, a nightmare even, and then your brain has to start again and it's like, uh, it kind of wastes the time. So that's several things that you should never do during meditation or things you should not do after meditation. 
Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.